Imagine a world without smartphones, online banking, the internet, or social media. They'd become the very fiber that connects us in the modern world. But with no shortage of threats, from states and terrorists to cyber criminals, our communication networks and devices are increasingly under attack. By the time this clip is finished, over 1,300 cyber threats would have been launched worldwide. Alarmingly, many ICT users won't even know they've been attacked or compromised. Cyber attacks are becoming more sophisticated. Attacks on critical infrastructure, such as water supply systems and power grids, are on the rise. What's more, cyberspace is an emerging theater where tensions and conflicts are played out. Many experts say viruses, DDoS, and hack attacks are the new guided missiles and stealth bombers. To protect themselves, more than 50 UN member states have active programs that give a role to their armed forces to combat or carry out cyber missions. ICTs have considerably raised the potential for tensions between states. All it takes is a simple misunderstanding for tensions to escalate into real-world conflict. The UN says confidence-building measures, CBMs, measures designed to address, prevent, or resolve uncertainties between different parties, can greatly enhance cyber stability between states. Regional organizations like the OSCE are ideal platforms for this type of work. In 2013, OSCE participating states adopted a first set of CBMs to reduce the risk of conflict stemming from the use of ICTs. Simply put, the CBMs apply the concept of Cold War era hotlines to the 21st century, allowing policymakers and diplomats to defuse emerging tensions that threaten to spiral out of control. They enable states to read another state's intentions in cyberspace, making cyberspace that little bit more predictable. Why are the OSCE CBMs so significant? For one, they create the conditions that can give states the confidence to search for common solutions, including in times of crisis. As trust is built through these CBMs, it's hoped the CBMs could be updated to become more ambitious and build more trust. The OSCE Cyber CBMs won't stop an intentional conflict, but by breaking down mistrust and getting all sides talking, they can stop an unintentional conflict.